And right now at 5.30, coyote outrage continuing to spread after emergency responders did rescue a wild predator from Biscayne Bay and FWC put it down. And so many people want to know why. So many people want to know why. There are plenty of wildlife sanctuaries and shelters right here in South Florida that would have gladly taken it in. Look with us, Ian Margold is live with more on this. Ian. Louis Christie, and actually yesterday when this all happened, Florida Fish and Wildlife actually reached out to a shelter in southwest Miami-Dade, and they agreed to take in this coyote. So the decision really is just that much more confusing, and one expert is saying they owe everyone an explanation. Video of this coyote being rescued from the waters of Biscayne Bay I'm so tired. went viral on Tuesday. And so did the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's decision to euthanize it. It is a predator that plays a key role in the life chain of our ecosystem. It's adapted to our ecosystem. In addition to his work at the Miami Zoo, animal expert Ron McGill also serves on the board of the Wildlife Rescue of Dade, the group that agreed to take the coyote in after it was pulled ashore by Miami Dade Fire Rescue. The president of, of uh, Wildlife Rescue of Dade County was contacted. He actually supplied them with. Uh, cage to go bring the animal to them was expecting the animal to arrive there. But apparently the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission had a change of plans and decided to put the coyote down instead, telling the rescue's director that it's a nuisance animal, which according to the FWC website is any animal that either causes property damage, presents a threat to public safety or causes annoyance around or in a building. But their site also says those animals can be released unless they're non-native, which McGill says isn't the case here. They are not invasive. Uh, they are not introduced animals. These are naturalized animals. These are animals that have naturally migrated down into South Florida, just said they've migrated into Chicago, into New York City. And Ron McGill says it would make sense to him if the animal was really sick, if it was very badly injured or anything like that. But again, still no word from FWC about that. We have reached out to them several times today via email, via phone call. We know that they've at least read one of our emails, but we still have not gotten any response. As soon as we do, we will let you know. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.